Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 22. I don't know if this really could be part 22, because I haven't edited the Lanayru Mining Facility yet. But just in case I decide to cut this in half, cut the Lanayru Mining Facility in half, welcome to part 22 of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last time we made it all the way out of the Lanayru Mining Facility, and uh, yeah, you saw what happened. Yep. Zelda's further away from us, unfortunately, but at the very least, we got money out of it, and that's what matters, getting the money. Anyway, yeah, we've been given an object that will help us out, that should help us out later on, according to Zelda, which would be this thing, the Goddess Harp. A traditional instrument from Skyloft. You need to learn a song before you can play it. Because you can't have Zelda without, you know, any instruments. That's just the law. Or if you're Breath of the Wild, then you can break all laws of physics. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get these ants. Then see what's in here. Red rupee, very nice. And of course, you can now enter the Temple of Time as much as you like. Not that you have any reason to go there, because there's nothing. <laughs> so, yep, 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 yep. Anyway, go over there to get an Amber Relic. And meet up with our good old buddy. What? You made it inside? You mean to say there is a secret passage I did not know about? What did you not tell me, bud? I've been on a quest, dude. I was about to give up and go home when I heard this huge crash. I rushed back to find the way it had been cleared. Mm. I'm going to explore inside. I have to get back to the sealed ground soon, so it looks like I'm going to be busy. You do that, bud. You do that, buddy. I'll be rooting for you. Ow. I'm going to murder. Come here. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> you cost me hurt, and now I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> now. Uh, yeah, we're going to be back here. We're going to be back here later anyway. So, yeah, I was going to just show you that you can use the minecarts that are way out in the distance. By activating the left time shift stone first, and then, you know, the right time shift stone then. So you can get back all the way over there. Because, of course, the old Skyward Sword philosophy kicks in there. But otherwise, we're all good. And ready to roll on back into the clouds. The potion shop and the item and the equipment stuff will have new things for you now. Here's something that'll put fire in your belly, young man. This new potion I've been concocting is finally ready. I call it a stanima potion. If you drink this up, your stanima gauge won't drop as fast as usual. I admit it's a bit of a pricey side, but I bet you'll find yourself in a situation where a boost of stanima will make it worthwhile. <laughs> If you want to buy some, just walk over to the display and have a look. I, and I believe the uh, Stanima potion is the one that's yellow. Yes, it is. I'm not going to buy some right now, but it's just to show you that it's there. And yes, you got a bomb bag for me. That's great. That's cool. I don't really need it, but thank you very much anyway. Well, I, I didn't really speak to I didn't really speak to Ruben Ruben a whole lot. So, well, actually, actually, what am I what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm an idiot. We 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 do need Santa Potion. So in the meantime, I'll just buy two. I'll buy two bottles of Santa Potion because we actually do need it for something. So anyway, yes, we can do that. And let's see if we have the ability to actually, you know, upgrade this yet. 
or rather, let's see if I can do it because I could technically do it all this time since this is new Let's Play Plus and technically new Game Plus. But, yep. Anyway, the Stanima Potion is effective for three minutes. So, it's all good in the hood. So, for the Stanima Potion, in order to infuse it, you need Volcanic Ladybugs. Da -da 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 and it's only 20 rupees. So, we do have all the stuff we need. But I'm not going to do it right now because we do actually need the Stanima Potion for something. But that something is, you know, coming up in a little bit. Now, are there any uh, goddess chests? No. All right, cool. Oh yeah, something else that's cool. Something else that I didn't actually notice until now is that the places are actually, the landmarks in Skyloft are actually marked. Nice. Now that we've completed the Lanayru Mining Facility and gotten the uh, Gus Bellows, we can actually do a couple of things here in Skyloft. Finally. I know. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's so... It's so cool that we can actually do this. We can actually do side quests now. Finally. Hi. Ah, Link, welcome. So here's the thing, Link. My house is terribly dirty. Pippin is always telling me to do some dusting around here, but I can't bring myself to do it. That's why I wanted to, wanted to ask you if you could if you wouldn't mind cleaning it for me. If you pay you, Link, yes, I will. <gasps> you will, great. I knew you wouldn't leave me in this in to sit in this dusty house, Link. Mm -hmm. Was that a broom? You know, I don't even remember where I keep that crazy thing, or if we ever owned one. Most of the time, I just wait for a good strong wind to come by and blow the dust away. So look, I don't really care how you get the job done. I just want you to blow it all away from me. They will stay in the sun. The covers blow, nowhere to go. Blow me away. So yeah, effectively, I'm a better housekeeper in this game than I am in real life. At least in my room. Because <laughs> my TV's... My TV's all dusty. My dresser is all dusty. And I couldn't care. And honestly, you know, you know, the girl can't care. Pippet's mom doesn't care. <laughs> if I break absolutely everything in the house just to get the dust off the house, you know. Yeah, just so as long as I blow all the dust away, she doesn't care. As long as everything is nice and clean again. Now, uh, yeah, it can get a little bit hard to tell. Oh, here it is. There we go. Oh my, there's no dust in my home. Thank you, Link. You brighten up my day. Come over here and let me pay you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Link. My house is sparkling clean again. It feels so much better when the place is not under a blanket of dust. More gratitude crystals, son. Finally, more gratitude crystals. Yay, woohoo. And of course, 20 rupees. Because we've been getting a lot of those red rupees again. Oh, one more thing. Don't tell Pippet about this. He'll only get angry at me for spending money on something he thinks I should be doing myself. You can keep a secret, right? Uh, Lou, 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 dust and pens, Lou, Lou, Lou. <laughs> We've been over this, Mom! Uh-oh, he found Mama. out. Calm down, Pippin. Don't get so mad. <laughs> How could I not be mad? It's only obvious lately that you've been giving someone rupees to clean the house. I gave you that money so you could buy some bread. If you keep spending money like this, I won't have any money to go to the Night Academy. I didn't take that job patrolling just so you could live a life of luxury. You gotta stop doing this. Oh, 
Hey there, Link. What could you want at this hour? You didn't hear any of that, did you? There's no way you heard, right? Sorry, dude. Oh, you heard. It's true. I've been working the night patrol to earn some money. But don't look at me like that. You're not exactly Mr. Perfect yourself either, are you, Mr. Eavesdropper? Well, which am I? Am I per perfect or eavesdropper? Maybe you should just forget everything that happened here tonight. Well, not really, because I spit all over my uh, pop filter. <laughs> uh, oh, God, I have a little piece of chip on my pop filter. Ugh. But, of course, all that doesn't matter because you can go back to Pippet's house and clean up clean up his house again so that you can get as many red rupees as you want. It doesn't matter. So, go ahead and do it. Nothing is stopping you. Anyway, uh, next thing's next is obviously, you know, not that. Obviously... It's up here that we want to go into the uh, Knight Academy. Because I believe we'll begin a quest. Not really not really necessarily like complete the quest all in one go. But I think, I think we'll be able to, you know, do this all in one go if we can. So at the Knight Academy at nighttime... At this point, you'll be able to hear a noise. And the noise should come from Fledge's room. You can also hear it while um, you are in your own room. Five, six, seven... Ooh, let me catch my breath. Oh, Link, oh, what am I doing? I'm training. I can't lift, even lift a single barrel. Pathetic, I know. That's why I want to get stronger. I'm a bit embarrassed about it, though, so I do it at night when no one's around to laugh at me. But it's not going so well. I'm just too tired. I was actually about ready to throw in the towel. Oh, Link, what do you got there? That's not... That's not a stamina potion, is it? I don't suppose you wouldn't li m mind letting me have it, would you? Go ahead and take it, dude. You want to get buffed? There you go. Oh, yeah! I can feel my muscles perking up back up already, brother! Aww. It's just that at this rate, I don't know if I can get stronger and burly. Yes, you can! Just... Do it! <laughs> wow, really? It's good to hear you're so confident in me. Maybe I can actually do this. Thank you, Link. I'll make you proud. You'll see. I'll be super burly in no time. Okay, back to training. Come back soon. I'll show you the new me. So I do have my walkthrough opened up. And uh, yeah, uh, you, don't, you can't necessarily uh, do the entire thing quite yet. You have to wait until a little bit later to actually uh, complete it. So, yeah. You definitely, definitely going to have to remember that for the future. I'm going to head into your room, okay, Colin and Stritch? Thanks. What's up? Mm. Oh, it's you, Link. What do you want with me? Huh? What am I doing? <laughs> Bugs. I'm looking at bugs. Look at this guy. He's He's got his good stuff. Bugs are amazing. Even more amazing than Groose in a lot of ways. Oh. Wait, I'm not saying that Groose isn't amazing as a bug. Look, I just really like bugs. I want to collect all kinds of bugs. Sometimes I even dream about having, like, an entire island full of bugs. How about this? Link, here's the plan. If you find a bug, come sell it to me. When it comes to bad bugs, rupees are no object. Uh, What? I was sure you'd go for it. Don't make me sick goose on you. <laughs> no. 
So if you ever want to sell any bugs, just bring them to me. I usually hang out here at night. I just won't buy any bug, though. What I buy on any given day depends on the mood I'm in. Oh, and one other thing. This might bug you a bit, but I only want to do these deals at night. I have a reputation to protect, you know? <laughs> Got it, Link? I don't mean to be a pest, but I'm counting on you. I can't stop thinking about bugs. So let's get to it. Want to sell me something? Let's see. Blessed Butterfly, Gerudo Dragonfly, Starry Firefly. Yeah! I'll go, I'll go for it. I can do Blessed Butterflies because those are the most common types. So, because Blessed Butterflies are the most common types of bugs, they're worth about five. And you basically have to sell all of them. All of them, one of them, or five. I'm going to go for all of them because I can just get... I can just get, uh, you know, more Blessed Butterflies anyway. Once again, they are very common. <laughs> Thanks, Mantis Face. I mean that in a good way. I love Mantises. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing more of your bugs, Link. How about, uh... Gerudo Dragonfly. How many do I have? 30. No, wait, no, wait. I got seven. They're 30 rupees per... So I'm going to give away five. <laughs> this is a good way to make some money. <laughs> but you have to do a lot of bug catching if you really, really want to, you know, uh, do things. Or if you want to grind up all the money. Let's just say a little bug told me. Let's see. Tonight. For da -da -da. Okay. What about Starry Firefly? How many of those do I have? 30 per, and I got three. I'll do one. <laughs> and there we go. That's how basic, that's how bugs work. Just like with Rupin, they are random each night, so go for it if you can. Go for it if you can. You'll definitely have to make some, do some uh, bug grinding if you want to. Make sure you sell all of your bugs to Stretch, but you will be making a good deal out of them. Good deals. All right, let's see. Um, let's just see how the not the fledge, the Groose. Still moping, buddy. I know I haven't seen you in like a a, a million years, but. Hi. It's driving me crazy. I looked absolutely everywhere, but still no Zelda. I do have one last idea, though. Have you seen the lights that popped out of the clouds a few days ago? So I say to myself, Groose, that thing looks kind of fishy. And then, one day, it hits me. What if that's Zelda down there and she's sending me a signal? It's a sign. It says, Save me, Groose! You are my only hope! <laughs> The more I think about it, the more sure I get. It's Zelda down there, and I gotta go rescue her. Anyhow, don't think about trying to go down there before me. I'm her hero, remember? Uh, I don't even know why I'm talking to you. Looking at you just makes me feel sad again. Look at me being all action-y. And not you. You should be more action-y, guy. That way, you will be able to make the buddies and also that. Okay, so can't necessarily complete the Fletch side quest yet. And you know, we can't we can't necessarily do absolutely everything that we can do in Scala for, na for right now yet, so... Wait, um... Actually, no, because I got all the- I got all the goddess cubes, what am I- What am I talking about? I, of course I got, like, every- I get, Of course I got all of them that I can get for right now. And I'm pretty much not gonna spend any, uh, rupees or anything just buying anything yet. Because there's nothing really worth my time. At least not yet. So, I'm 
thinking that I'm actually all good. Actually, no. Uh, what, what I want to do, actually. What I want to do. If. That's a big if. But if I still have enough. If I still have enough for infusing stamina potion. Yes, I do. We can upgrade to stamina potion plus. With those materials plus a little bit of money. All done. There you are. Don't. I hope you didn't set your expectations too high. Stanima Potion Plus. This will completely prevent your Stanima Gauge from depleting at all for three minutes. So, yeah, that's basically the best that you can do with a uh, with the uh, Stanima Potion. You can only upgrade it to Plus form. And yeah. It's pretty good. Now, as for the heart potion, you can actually upgrade it more than once. So, oh god! <laughs> we don't have any more blessed butterflies. We don't have any more of that, so hang on, I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Now we can upgrade this to the plus variety. So, really the real cost are those materials that you need. And the rupees aren't really that costly at all. So with the Heart Potion Plus, now you can restore all of your hearts in one gulp. But it can be upgraded further than that. And I need more of that. <laughs> Got it. Got the thing that we exactly need. And thank God I have that Elden Roller. <laughs> thank you, Christ. Once again, the rupee cost isn't that much, but the material cost is just like, oh, jeez. Heart Potion Plus Plus. This will restore all of your hearts with two servings instead of just one. Very invaluable. Very valuable. To, well, actually, uh, very valuable. Yes, I, I meant to say very valuable. Yes, yes. Not very invaluable because invaluable just makes it sound like, you know, it's not that valuable at all. But very valuable to have indeed in your inventory. And you know what? We might as well do this, too. Might as well do this, too. Well, one thing is to get more Blessed Butterflies, because I might need more of them in the future to do more stuff with. But we have over 800 rupees, so that basically means we can buy ourselves that Life Medal now. And it will probably, it'll definitely be sent to the item check. But whatever the case, uh, whatever the case... We'll definitely need it. So 800 rupees, it's all ours. As long as we have this in our adventure pouch, the maximum amount of hearts is increased by one. Thank you. And with that, we have basically spent everything again before we have to head back to the surface again. And we're all good and ready to roll to go back to the surface. We need to go to the sealed grounds for that. Next time on Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, we're going to head back to the sealed grounds and do more things. See you guys on next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.